the Swap Forge with another Doctor Who Into the Time Vortex miniatures game unboxing. And in this unboxing, we'll be unboxing the second expansion pack, Missy and the Cybermen. So, <laughs> why did I get this? Because, well, it's Cybermen and I like I like the models. I had a game. And, well, Cybermen see a focus probably you know, Cybermen are Cybermen. I like the idea. Maybe not be too... I'm not too fond of the current iteration, but they are good for what they are, and they are definitely fun to play on the board. So, without further ado, let's get cracking. So, on the back, we have roughly... Well, we have 4, 5, 6, 26, 27 miniatures, all in total. That includes the 14 plastic Cybermats and the 12 EVC to fit Cybermen miniatures. We have the exclusive uh, Missy, who is metal, as you can see there. And we have the eight adventure cards. So the adventure cards are the plot twist cards that you can use to turn the tide of battle. And the recruitment cards are basically your monster's stat line and stuff and how you can get your models on the board. It also comes with full colour assembly guide and painting guide. So basically, you can build and paint. So, without further ado... We will be opening this with uh, the shrink wrap with a knife. Now, a disclaimer, knives are sharp, always cut away from yourself. Lock it in place as I've just done there if you're using one of these Stanley knives. And always cut away from yourself. As you can see, I'm cutting away from myself. So, we've just opened it and here we go. Once again, into the time vortex. So let's open this for the first time okay so we're opening we're opening and we'll be revealing the cybermen and all of its contents so once again if you've seen the dalek one we have missy who is just a single pose miniature that you can just glue onto the base or glue onto her base and cybermen are snap fit they're very customized a lot more customizable than the daleks because you have the variety of arms to choose from the Cybermets that don't have their own mini base to go off the Cybermen stat line card will always get placed on 30mm base. So yeah, it's also a painting guide here to show how you can paint your Cybermen, like I say. And on all, this is a good set. Very good set. So, see blister pack of Missy in cards. We'll go into these later. So, I'm going to show off these miniatures. I'm going to put these away. So this is the first sprue, if we can focus in. Yeah, as you can see, the detail on these plastics is phenomenal. These are 35mm characters, remember, for a skirmish game, and they are phenomenal for easy snap fit. Now, these are plush fit, like the Daleks. However, I would recommend gluing these ones on, because, or if you're going to definitely have them in a solid uh, fit uh, pose, only because whilst they do... They are very stiff, but they can still come off. So, because it is just pig and holes, it's not like the Daleks where it's a bit more intricate. So, yeah. As you can see. So, we'll flip this over. As you can see, the detail on these is phenomenal. Just Cybermen stomping around, shooting, screaming. Well, not screaming, just uh, shouting, delete, 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 upgrade. You will be like us. And then I'm trying to find a side map for you. There we go. There's a cyber mat. These are the side mats that go on the 30 mil bases. Or to, I can't remember the size on the ba of the base, but they are bases are supplied. So I just want to. There we go. Sorry about that. As you can see, even on something as tiny as that, and that's just like five millimeter or five five to six five to eight millimeters. The detail they've put into these side mats is absolutely phenomenal. For a plastic cyber mat. It's very nice. And once we focus in again. So yeah. Obviously the bases are the bases. Those cybermen. Those cyber mats on the base. Have their own base. So they go off the cybermen recruitment card. Where it has cybermen and cyber mats. So yeah. That's the first sprue. The second sprue. Is exactly the same. Absolutely exactly the same. So, we'll get on to looking at Missy now. So, Missy's box is 
going to be opened right now once we find a way to actually open it. They're a bit stiff these uh, these blisters but I'd rather have them stiff than not stiff so that like nothing goes missing or broken. So again two 30mm bases here those will probably be for the cyber mats in the kit in the sprues and one for Missy herself. So it's nice that they've uh, given us the bases to use as well. So foam once again if you want to use an alternate sponge or something for materials and we will be looking at Missy herself now so once we zoom right in as you can see now if we make it a focus now if we make it a focus here what happens if we focus now it's very blurry right so if we zoom back out a bit There we go. So as you can see, lovely bit of detail on Missy there. As you can see, even her name's engraved. Now, obviously, some people may not like these bases. Don't worry about them. If you want to use these as prop wargame bases, as you can see, you can use the 30mm bases, super glue them on there, and then just base right over it, and it'll look fine, if I'm honest. So, yeah, that's Missy. That's Missy's backside and back, rear view, etc. So yeah, again, a bit of flash over on the umbrella and stuff, and a few mode lines here and there. But, nothing to really, um, how would you say, nothing to really fret over, just a bit of filing or sandpaper will do the job once you've taken off the excess bit of flash. And a bit of sandpaper or um, files to file off the mode lines. So yeah, very fine detail for 35mm. Will be very nice to paint all the purples on her. So, once we zoom back out. So that's Missy and the bases. Now we'll look into the cards. So again, very nicely packaged. <laughs> very hard to open, but I'd rather have them hard to open so that they don't get broken or, well, or bent before they've even been had it before they've even had a chance to be used. So Sidemen. More sidemen, so I'll just focus in a little bit. If we can just there we go. So again sidemen, sidemen. Upgraded sidemen. So upgraded sidemen you can guarantee they're more like elites kind of thing. Side mat swarm. More sidemen. Cyber leader and Missy herself. So I'm very happy to see all them. So that's the Cybermen recruitment cards and Missy. Venture cards are your plot twist cards. And another Cyberman. And this is, yeah, this is a Cyberman with another Cyberman recruitment card. That's actually quite interesting that they've left this one at the back. I'm actually quite interested in that. So. There's, those are your stat lines. These are your plot twist cards that can turn the tide of battle. So. Again, Missy, multi-purpose device, so she's got her own weapon. Some uh, quotes or personality traits. Cybermen. Wow, okay. Cyber conversion, because all you need is uh, Gavin to be turned into a Cyberman. We, we won't remember. We, we don't talk about that episode. I'm a Dalek fan, but we, we don't talk about that episode. <laughs> Keep to the plan. Just quite nice. Upgrade armor. Great stuff. So again, lots of Cyberman and a few Missy cards herself, just to get the ball rolling on her. So, I will go through what I think of all this after a pause. Okay, so, uh, what would I give this uh, a 10 out of 10, obviously? 10 out of 10 because the amount of minis you get for its price tag is actually quite nice. I remember this is just a skirmish game. It's not meant to be something huge, you know. I've seen other games which sell skirmish minis for like packs of three in plastic that go for about 15 to 30 quid. So having this is what, 26, 27 minis, like I said before, for just 25. That's a steal. That's that's bloody fantastic you know what i mean that's very very nice and the de and the detail on the minis you can tell that the warlord team haven't like just 
like sat on the backsides and twiddled the thumbs. They have put real effort into these minis to look like the things from, so that they can go through the, the BBC green light. So for the price tag, it is definitely worth it. It's a five star rating, easily a five star rating. Um, I'm personally looking forward to showcasing these more on the channel, only because I may not be much, as much of a Cyberman fan as I am a Dalek fan, but I am interested to see how the Cybermen play, because I've only had one game against myself just to get the flow of the rules right, and just to understand the atmosphere and the flow of the rules. And they are definitely more synergetic. They're, they are roughly on par with beginner's skill with the Daleks, but the Daleks are more brute force on their own, and the Cybermen are a little bit more synergetic, especially with the Cyber Leader, how it can transfer himself to another Cyberman, so you technically don't kill him. For those who aren't Warhammer 40k, imagine it being Alpharius. So it's like Alpha Legion sort of tactics, where you kill a character and and the same warlord pops up as an as an actual another marine or something like that. So yeah, it's kind of like that. They're very, they're a lot more synergetic, but they are a lot more in horde. The the Daleks are brute force, but minimal numbers. The Cybermen are a lot more synergetic, slower. But more horde, they come in legions, they come in big squads, big units, and they go and delete everything. So yeah. Very interesting. I'm very interested to see how these play out, and I'm very interested to see how these uh, go together as well. So, so if you want to see any more... So thank you for watching, sorry. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, and you want to see more of these unboxings and Doctor Who updates and battle reports and so on and so forth, then please hit the subscribe button and then hit the notifications button. Uh, if you want to talk about anything about the set or anything about Doctor Who or this miniatures game exactly or what's coming for this channel for this game, then please hit the comments section below. And if, you th if you're a fan of Doctor Who and you've got fans of... Other, fan, other friends who are fans of Doctor Who or wanting to get into Minch's gaming or just like the game or like, like the idea of the game, then please share this video out. The more the name that gets out there, the better. So thank you for watching. This is The Warp Forge signing out. And remember, keep on forging.